Feather Stitch is a fun embroidery stitch that adds a fun organic feel to your stitching. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do Feather Stitch and give you ideas of when to use it in your embroidery projects. Welcome to Ewita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, bojagi, and embroidery. Feather Stitch is a versatile embroidery stitch, but it does have a natural organic feel. So it really lends itself to stitching natural things like stems and flowers, branches and trees, coral, um, that kind of thing. On this pillow, which has the same motif stitched with different stitches in different ways, I use Feather Stitch as this dividing line to divide up the little sections that the flowers go in. So we can see sometimes it can be really structured and other times it's very kind of flowing and smooth. So here is how you do Feather Stitch with some different variations. For Feather Stitch with three branches, you might find it easier to mark three lines to keep your stitches the same size. So I'll bring the thread up and then take a stitch on the diagonal, catching the end of the thread under the needle. Then on your second stitch, you'll use the middle line as your center reference. And then your third stitch will use the third line. So you can see there's three steps down and then we would repeat that to get three steps up in the other direction. Of course, you don't have to have three steps in your feather stitch. It's also commonly done with just two steps, one on each side. Depending on your project, you might want even more than three. So you can have as many as you want and they can go in whatever directions you want. When you get to the end of your row of stitches, just tack down the last stitch to hold it in place. And there you go. Feather stitch can also be used to stitch branches off a straight center line. So to keep the center line straight, it's sometimes helpful to mark that on your fabric. Then bring your needle up with the thread on the center line and then take one stitch to one side of the line catching the thread under the needle the same as before. Then you can take a stitch on the other side and continue down the center line alternating stitches as you desire. When you get to the end, tack down your final stitch as before. There you go, it's two different looks for the same stitch. So there's feather stitch whether you mark it to fit an exact place or go freehand and natural, whether you have smooth curves or sharp points, Feather Stitch is a great stitch that can be used in a lot of different ways. So have fun using Feather Stitch in your next embroidery project. For more embroidery tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebudistudio.com.